the reality kicks in and you think, well, is it that, is it that serious? You know, is, is it the end of the world um, as our media can make it out to be? And I don't think it was. Um, <laughs> I was a, I'm still a good man. I'm a good man who made bad decisions, who, who messed up, um, acted within the heat of the moment, and we all know what happens in the heat of the moment. Um, cold light of day now, I almost look back and think, that wasn't me who did that, who did that but you put me in a football stadium in front of 50, 60,000 people, you put what's at stake on the line, and you put the competitor in me on the edge where he needs to be to play. He makes mistakes, you know, I've done that, you know, and I've never professed to be perfect. In, in the cold light of day now, standing here with no adrenaline in my system, know that what's at stake is not at stake. I'm like, how did he even make them decisions? People, the, the weirdest thing about that incident is, and I've never spoken about it, I don't think, people actually think I lost my head, like, my, like the red mist descended and off I went and went on this um, WWF uh, wrestling um, <laughs> extravaganza on the pitch. I never, this is the weirdest, this is the scariest thing about it is, I've lost my head lots of times. That time I never, lo I, I hadn't gone. It was a cold, calculated decision to try and even it up. Um, what people forget about the instance is, you know, I'm not trying to condone my part in it, I'm just trying to put it into context. Tevez had, had, had punched me off the ball, you know, for all intents and purposes, he's come round me and hit me with the side of his hand. So uh, me being me, thought, well, I'll wait and I'll even this up, and I've elbowed and the referee and the linesman have seen, well, the linesman seen it, the referee never seen it. Subsequently get the red card, Tevez gets away with impunity. And, I've got a strong sense of justice and what's right and what's wrong, and I'm not going to accept that. And Aguero had been telling the ref that I'd done it, so I thought, well, where I'm from, grass is a, as you know, she's a scout. So we call them grass, as people tell. So I'm like, well, he's grassed on me. So I get him sent off, a snitcher. He's, got, oh, he's getting sent off. So he gets a knee. And without getting uh, in there, I'm not, I'm not trying to glorify it, but it ends up a chain of events. And the chain of events was basically. Um, me trying to get one of their players sent off because I knew I'd been sent off and I knew what was at stake and we had to get something out of the game to stay up and I thought if I can even the, the teams up and get one of their players sent off then that'll make my sending off lesser because he'll have been sent off and he'll have partial the blame and uh, yeah it was a mad mad scenario cold light day I'm thinking that's a lunatic that made that decision a lunatic wouldn't think that that was the rational thing to do but at the time I thought it was the, the correct decision and I've subsequently learned that there's no right and wrong decisions Raj is not ag agreeing with me on this we've been uh, debating this, that you just make a decision and time gives you the right and wrong. So for me, I'm just confident if I just make a decision and then time will come along and a, a year might say it's the right decision, 10 years might say it's the wrong decision, but it's just a decision. <coughs> Two seconds, five minutes told me that was the wrong decision. 10 years will tell me that's the wrong decision. Don't worry about that. But what I'm saying is at the time I felt yeah, this is the perfect way out of this is to do this. So as I say, I'm, I'm not proud of it. It's something that's happened. It's something I have to embrace. Um, and something that hopefully in five, 10, 15 years, I'll look back and smile at. I mean, I can laugh a little bit at myself and the, the idiotic nature of, of what I was uh, doing at the time. And as I say, it doesn't seem like it was me who did it. You know, I can't understand that that was me who did that, but I'm some, I'm, you know, it is an element of, of my personality and of the competitive animal that lies within somewhere.